Hey guys, welcome back to the C and J show. And I have my favorite gin and juice here. And I have my sister Neek. And gin and juice is gonna give you this hot topic. So in recent news, guys, Dr. Dre's tumultuous divorce from his wife has come to an end. And he was ordered to pay a little under three hundred thousand dollars per month to her. And that is if she agrees to the conditions, which is she doesn't remarry or she doesn't get into another relationship. Now, a lot of people were saying that she's never going to remarry or she's never going to be in another relationship because who's going to give up nearly $300,000 a month, which turns out to be $3 million per year. No one's crazy enough to do that, right? Granted, Dr. Dre... His net worth is allegedly, you know, eight hundred and fifty million plus. So that may not be a huge hit for him, but still, that's three million dollars going to someone that he doesn't even probably communicate with. Mm-hmm. It's like he just flushed that money down the toilet. But is it another option? Like, okay, so if she don't take that, maybe it'll be a hundred thousand dollars if she didn't do the don't get. Uh, into a relationship and all the rest of the stuff? No, I think she actually wanted more and they settled on that amount. Yeah. But, so my question for this topic is, is it right for a man or woman, whoever makes the most money, to pay alimony to his ex-wife or her ex-husband regardless of if they have children or not? Should that man or woman be subjected to child support only if these kids are under 18 and not alimony because they are no longer together? Mm, um, I would say yes, you are responsible for that for a time. The reason why I say for yes what? for child support or alimony. no alimony, I feel like for alimony, right? The reason why I say because I mean, you know, child support is obvious, yes, that's your responsibility. And, you know, your child's supposed to, you know, live a good life like how you live. But I feel like for alimony, I think because of the type of lifestyle that a person is used to or what you have gotten them accustomed to, um, you can't just kick a person out, you know. Um, I mean, you can, but it, it's, it's, it's not the correct way of, of doing yeah. things. So, yeah, I do think it should be a... The only thing I disagree with is it's just like this long, drawn-out thing. I think give a person enough money for a couple months to get on their feet. Of course, you may have to downgrade or whatever it is, but you don't have to still live like you were living when we were together. You might have to, instead of, you know, having a big mansion or whatever it is that you used to live it in, hey, you might got to get you something, hey, maybe downtown. You know, maybe like a small, cute little condo downtown. It's still good money. You still... You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Um, and save you some money. You, I mean, I think give a person enough time to downgrade that lifestyle. So I think the max should be six months to a year. Should they downgrade their lifestyle? Why not? I'm not the, with you. The courts are saying that they shouldn't. Why not? We're not together. I'm not. No. Because I introduced you to a life when we were together, that I don't have to continue that. That's just like when you meet anybody. You know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah, I took you to go get you know, steaks and filet mignons and whatever, expensive dinners, tomahawks Lobster. and lobsters and all that type of stuff like that. But because I'm not with you, well, I got to still pay for that because now I didn't got you accustomed to it. No, you can go well, and buy you yourself. You done married me and had kids with me. So the thing, see, that's where the good part come in. Now, this is where I have to say now people don't realize it because we kind of scoop marriage underneath the rug people don't respect it they don't know what it is about and we forget that listen even if you come up with an idea and you do whatever majority of the time your mate is standing right there helping you achieve your goals too now the thing is this may be like um the uh vanash the well the vasashi guy okay this is his dream. That's his vision. But his wife was there the whole entire t- time. I've, I've, I'm helping you 
in this also and creating this and we're married. Now, what I'm going to say is this, maybe not, you know, of course, I ain't going to get the same lifestyle and I don't have to get the 300,000 like I'm still the chick, but you should get something because if people understood the work in the process of dedication with being married and doing it the right way just because things do not work out it does not mean that i was not a champion i was there honey now i'm gonna say that's why the alimony is there because i help you achieve a lot of your goals at his level i don't think so i disagree no nick uh, what we're saying what what that is is what we're saying is this regardless of what if you're married it's no, like we it. do this stuff together. Yes, you're the business person. But what happens is a lot. We don't see what the wife do. The wife supposed to look pretty, take care of the kids and do whatever. But you see the dominant person. You see the one that's got the, the their headlines on the face of everything. But you don't know what the next, you don't know what that person is doing and what they're helping or, or who or they're they getting. Yeah, or what they're not. But that's why they do have alimony because they know in marriages, you share things together. You do a lot together. No, you do. I agree. Now, I'm these crazy, ridiculous amounts where it's like, okay, number one, that would have been thrown out. I'm like, listen, y'all, daughter Dre is crazy anyways. First of all, why to have anything to do with if I'm, I'm going to be with somebody else? So... <laughs> I don't get nothing if I be with, I can't yeah, but be you with can, somebody. But, but that's the But thing. she don't need three three hundred. You don't need that much. Like, listen, girl, I'm gonna give you a hundred fifty thousand, a hundred thousand. Because guess what? If you was that bad, you're gonna get a bad person. Let him be taking y'all can still. You still getting my money to do something because the mm -hmm. kids is no kids, right? It's alimony conditional. Where, like, say for instance, I tell you to stay home. I don't want you to go to work. I'll take care of you. Take care nah, of the kids. As long as you were the breadwinner. There's a guy I worked with. Uh, my mom told you about him. He was on, he was paying alimony. And it's because I think they had this thing. He was telling me, um, don't quote me, but it was like, um, if you were together over five years and somebody, and you know, I guess he was a breadwinner. He took care of her, like in a way where, you know, maybe she just picked up jobs here and there. Or maybe she just didn't make as much money. You do have to pay them a certain amount of money, you know what I'm saying, like a month if you make Like Mary money. J. Blige playing this man, which she I shouldn't said, say it like that because then it makes us sound away, but paying him 37000 a month, and it was like, oh my God, she's she a woman. Is she still paying him? I believe so. And yeah, then she was got a man, you for... got to pay it for a good couple of you got to pay for a couple of years and i think yeah. well they they do give you i think he would like say for example if y'all was together eight years you would have to pay it for four or something something yeah. like that they was explaining like half of the time that y'all and then together. i think if you break a rule like cheat or you do something it's for the rest of your life you don't have to worry about that like mm -hmm. but when they have money they go in with little stuff like okay listen this is just for love. So mm -hmm. a lot of the rich people do it. That means we break up. You don't want anything. Yeah, you don't sign get that paper. Stuff, I don't get nothing. Yeah. You That's what Ray J mom was telling her. Like, listen, no, she if she love you, then she don't get nothing. You so let's hope that she signed that paper. And it was like, okay, who's gonna? Who's who cares? Sad. Yeah, like Ray J is gonna be cheating, honey. We I don't know how long we're gonna be together. So no, he's gonna we're gonna get the rich. But I think they signed the, the paper, so she won't get anything. Who knows? I think they, they signed off on that. But you can have whatever rules, but I just don't understand the you can't get the money if you, you go into a relationship. That's, how old is she? To say she you're not going to ever be? 40s. Yeah, there's no Oh, way yeah, she's, she's at the age, she's definitely dating age. Yeah, she but she can, if she's like, smart, she'll get the money. She'll make some decent investments, find some good financial advisors, some friends. That's $3 million. I'm pretty sure she has some other things going as well. Get Do what you need to do so you, you know, if you do decide to date or, you know, not, or however it is, if somebody finds out about the $300,000, then, you know, and or if, about And if the we date, found then, out about it, and he, I'm pretty sure he knows. And yeah, I mean, but I, I, I long story short, for me, I, I don't think that a person should be um, subject to paying their ex off. That's just like you paying one of your exes monthly um because you were making more money at the time or because only you were person who i wouldn't want to be at this recent moment was kevin hart's wife 
I she got the terrible. I mean that stick. that that she was, had no no good lawyers. Yeah, it's almost like they just and that's how like you're a loser. Be, you know? No, it doesn't supposed to be like she got nothing. Like what do, he he didn't want to give her nothing. I wouldn't want to take anything that you don't want to give me. One thing about Kevin, I I could truly say like he really I think listen he loved his money. He makes sure he made those investments because he saw that girl like listen. You can go ahead on and tell her. I, matter of fact, I'm going to help you. I'll tell you. I Let me tell her today that I've been cheated and she's going to see this video because you finna better. There's no way I'm going to give you $100. If you want 500000 Yeah, like I'm not going to give this up. The girl. Or yeah. The, uh, the guy. I guess he set it up or whatever. Trying to extort, them, extort him. So, oh, so it wasn't end up being not the. It wasn't her. It was just his friend. It wasn't his friend. Yeah, supposedly. And she said, oh, he threatened. Da, da, da. You know, all this, like, or, or I guess he, you know, coerced her to, you know, oh, look, just ask for 500000 Who knows? But that's so like basically, seven. she wasn't going to do it. That's not what I she was feeling. No, I don't think that was the intent. But I think, you know, getting together with the guy, you know. I wonder and, how that came out. Okay, he told her or whatever. But yeah, no, I think, um, yeah, no, but see, she got, she they got the divorce right before Kevin got big, big. So that's the reason why she she got the house and that's paid for stuff like that. Then she got the, I think she was doing like one hundred and seventy five thousand. She got that lump sum and then she was getting like forty grand a year uh, a month. No, none of none none of that. I believe she was getting like eight like three hundred dollars a month. Nah, she was because getting... they had shared custody and he that that was it that's why everybody was like girl how are you living how are you even able to to manage he, he basically cheated dropped you got with somebody else then it seemed like you had got acne your, your skin broke out you was doing really bad it was just a terrible time and it, he just get to see his kids and, and it was only three three hundred dollars a month yeah so he said he have to pay Nineteen thousand seven hundred and eighty-five dollars a month in support for their. Oh, that that time they was young, for the two kids, and then um, he got a he had to pay a lump sum of one hundred seventy-five thousand, and they had joint custody of the children, and and I think that's how he was able to get off as well because a lot of these guys who travel, they don't want to do joint custody, so they that's what they uh, yeah. have to pay so much money, you know. But he got he was he and was and and this goes for you too, Asa, because we don't we're not trying to say that, but we. That was a little low. You know, you was only getting those kids only for holidays. I don't even know how they could remember you <laughs> enough to say, Dad, if I'm only seeing my dad only on the holidays. It's almost like going to prison or something mm. and seeing him, even though we know there's some cases like that. But you, you still, even in that situation, you still get to go see your dad way more only on holidays and the sad thing is he he wasn't doing any work it wasn't no work no, it's like no work was nowhere so i don't understand yeah. why he was acting like that and you only see them on major holidays there's no way i would have been able to do that with my kids mm -hmm. and they got twins there's no way i would have done that i would have i would have done that so jen and juice how long do you give her before she break that um i think she's smart I don't think she's gonna break it. What about if a guy, a guy though, if he's really like that? I think it's gonna be over somebody's head. I think she's head. gonna cover it in a cloud of friendship. I think she's gonna play it off like for the courts or whatever. These are friends. Here's our text messages. Blah blah blah. Whatever it is, that lady is calculating. She will not lose. Three million a year. I, I I wouldn't either, but I'm saying you know you're getting yeah, going into you that know? situation, that how Jen. You know? But how it's like, look, when we're out, there's no holding hands, there's no none of these type but of things. But see, with that stuff, it can you can Unless get away the guy with that. Put her out and say, okay, yeah, we was in a relationship, we had sex, blah blah blah. But you can Here's still do proof. that and not be with somebody though. You can people do that all the time, and you you have no commitment. No, no with what them. what would have to happen is one of the guys would be like, look. You pay me a million dollars. <laughs> she is not going to fall for that. That I'm lady is not dumb. Yeah, and then she'll probably Trace, listen. First of all, I was trying to get more than this right She would here. have to approach so, a guy. A guy could never approach her because she'll never fall for it. She'll think it's a setup. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but what about Jen if it was some? If it was a guy that really felt like I love him? Like, okay, I, so. I love her. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if no, you okay. Her, no, wait. Before we end, is this one thing? Okay, what if a guy said, "Listen, I do want to marry you, and this is not how I plan on." I will not take it. <laughs> no, you cannot marry me, sir. Can you give me three million a year? No, you cannot. Goodbye. Deuces? Deuces, yeah. Okay, so guys, you heard it from Jenna Juice. She only care about the money, the love, moolah, is, the, the yeah, narrow, yeah. The yen, money the will never be. <laughs> I mean, love is not. Hey, anything is possible, and it could go wrong. She's sticking with those three million a year. That's all she see. So I guess she'll have friends for the rest of her life. Um, Neek. Yeah, I would definitely do the whole friendship thing as well. I would definitely oh do. God. I would do the friendship thing. Honestly, I'll be like, look, there's no affection. There's no, 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 no public show of affection. What do they call that? The POA? PDA. There's no PDA. You know, when we get to, back to the house and stuff like that, we can always be affectionate or whatever. But nothing out here where somebody can take pictures in the public. And, your phone in the has public. to be off, turned off completely yeah. off. Oh, no my recording. God. And don't text me nothing crazy either. So, guys, yeah. basically, you you heard it from Jenna Juice and my sister. They will live in a mafia life for the rest of their life. Don't have fun, but they got the money to I'll do whatever yeah, they want to do. And, and inside the house, they're going to go crazy because they're not going to trust the cleaners. Okay, you on the phone? Now, what are you doing on the phone? Let me, let me see the phone because we already know what's going on here. No phones, no cameras, no now nothing. Yeah, you your cleaners to come when your yes is not there. That's just it. That's and I need the house swept for cameras as well because I don't know if he got something going on. Oh, with yeah, because they, yeah, to, to plant. They got those debuggers to, to detect and to yeah. see. Yeah. So, yeah, so we're out with that, I guess, guys. If you're, if you could get three million a year, why wouldn't you? And still live a good life and have a friend on the side. So, do you, I guess, and, Love lose on this and the money wins. We're out.